Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to make this whiskey bottle SVG. So here we are in Cricut Design Space and I'm just going to upload the file. Click upload image, browse and then find where you've put the file. I'm going to use the SVG. And then I'm going to also upload the text. There's an SVG as well. Click upload. Select both of them and then click add to canvas. Okay, so I'll just move these out of the way. As you can see, there are um, two backs for this one. One is for the cake topper and one is for the card. I'll just ungroup them. And then uh, the first thing that you want to do is to see this line here. If we click there, that's the line. And we just need to change that to a score line. And then highlight the, uh, the line and the outline of the bottle. And then click attach. Okay, I'm going to hide this one by clicking the eye on the right hand side. We will make the card. Okay, next I'm going to look at this file and I need to ungroup that one as well. And then I'm going to choose uh, the age that I want. If it goes like this, just go up to the top, click arrange and bring to front. As you can see, each of these ages uh, are like grouped together, if you will. Again, it's not showing at the front, so I'll just click Arrange, Bring to Front. I'm going to use 70. Okay. And then what I'll do with these is I will just group those together and hide them. As you can see, they're all highlighted. Click Group and then click on the eye just to hide them. Click make it and then you can choose uh, your materials. Oh, actually, let me just cancel. I need to uh, group this together. So if I just, uh, sorry, not group, if I attach them like that, then when they go to uh, the mat view, you'll see that it's all together like that. And there's your score line. So that what I'm actually going to do is for this text, because that will be vinyl and the card back will be card, I'm just going to come out and change the colour and then click make it again and it will just put it on a different mat for me. You could just move it in the mat view, but I prefer to do it as a different colour. Just a personal thing. Okay, just another little tip, which I thought about sort of after the event. With the uh, whiskey bottle, uh, like the pieces here, they can go like this. Um, so if you want it to come out in that order, so you know exactly where to put it, we need to just move these pieces out of the way and then highlight them like that. And then again, click attach. Then when we go to the mat, they will be like that. You will have this area that's kind of a waste, but it's up to you whichever way you want to do it. But I just wanted to point that out as a little tip. Okay, so here we are and I've got all of the pieces cut. This is the piece with the score line. I've already weeded the vinyl. You could actually use um, iron on vinyl for this as well. You can use iron on vinyl on card, obviously on a low setting. So what I like to do is just start by putting a few pieces on so I can see where they need to sit and then I'll start to glue them into place. I'm using this beacon three in one. Okay, next I'm going to attach the vinyl. 
Okay, and just before you attach it, I like to just kind of put my fingers onto the transfer tape like this, and that just stops it sticking onto the card. Because sometimes it can tear it, like it's, it's sometimes good to use an old piece of transfer tape for a job like this. So um, I'm just gonna put it in the center and then very gently peel it off. Okay, that's the front finished. Next, I'm gonna show you how to attach the back. So I'm going to be using this double-sided tape and I place that just um, on the, the score line. And then I use glue around the edge, turn the front of the card over and just line the two up. And that's your finished card. And it will now stand. There we go. Okay, next I'm going to show you how to make the cake topper. Obviously all the same steps as the front of the card. I'm using a slightly different uh, material here. There we go. So for the back, you will need um, a skewer. And um, I attach that using the beacon three in one. Try and place it roughly in the center. And then I'm going to be using um, double-sided foam tape. And I just place this uh, all over the back. You can also use foam dots for any kind of small spaces as well. I also use the pieces that are in between the foam dots. And then once you've got it all covered, I just put another bit of glue on the uh, skewer or stick and then just attach the back. Just line it all up. Press it all down. And that's the finished product. There's your cake topper. And there's your card. I hope you found the tutorial helpful. Please subscribe and follow. Thanks a lot now. Bye.